Vicious paparazzi, a public fight dominating the front page, and a fatal final flight. Dubbed the new Jackie Kennedy by an unrelenting press, here's the tragic story of Carolyn Bassett Kennedy. Welcome back to Future Cron, where I give my psychic insights into just about everything, including the ugly truth about the beautiful Kennedys. In this episode, I'll shed some light on what really went on between the golden couple, John Kennedy Jr., or John John, and his lovely wife, Carolyn Bissett. Before I dive in, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification for more hidden secrets into the world we live in. And stay until the end for a shocking revelation about this couple that only a true psychic would know. Let's get into it. On paper, this couple looked perfect the picture of style and grace, but behind closed doors, it was a different story. After a very short marriage and separation, they ultimately perished in a plane crash that John, a novice by any standard, was piloting. Biographer Maureen Callahan, author of Ask Not, The Kennedys and the Women They Destroyed, discusses her theory on what may have happened. Listen. Don't believe the images that you're seeing of these ultra wealthy, ultra famous, ultra celebrated and envied people. It's never like that behind closed doors. And Carolyn Bissett, if this book does anything, will be the last woman who marries into that so-called dynasty with the idea that she has landed a prize. Back then, JFK Jr. was in a class of his own. There was no, there was no movie star, no rock star, no politician, no royal, true royal who could compete with JFK Jr. The looks, the legacy, the regard, the pedestal this culture put him on. So Carolyn lands him thinking she's won a prize. And I promise anyone who reads this book will come away going, Carolyn very quickly realized that she landed a booby prize. He had a lifetime, not just of really exhibiting a death wish with extremely risky behavior, but he had a penchant, almost like a kink, for bringing the women in his life along and risking their lives as well. So now let's flash forward to this flight. And we're about to, in America, undergo the 25th anniversary of this thing where we're all going to be told, oh, JFK Jr., what a shame. What did we lose? We lost a future president. The, you know, the, We should be so relieved that this guy would never see the inside of the Oval Office. What do I think about John Jr. and his wife, Carolyn? It's hard to argue with Callahan's well-sourced analysis of the man. And yes, I agree that he was a spoiled space cadet lacking any kind of intellectual prowess. But I can't pin the full responsibility on him for driving that plane straight into the Pacific Ocean. No, based on what I saw during a channeled session with John and Carolyn years after their death, I have to point the finger at his lovely wife, Carolyn Bissett. Let me explain. Today, public figures like John Jr. and Carolyn tend to stay on the down low. But back in the day, their public fight on the streets of New York was documented by paparazzi, and it went on and on, and on, and on. I don't care what anyone says, this is a woman who was not right in the head. I find it interesting that Carolyn's friends made excuses for her. Historian Stephen M. Gillen, in his book, America's Reluctant Prince, The Life of John F. Kennedy Jr., recounts how Carolyn frequently clashed with John, criticizing him for allowing people to take advantage of him. The infamous fight stemmed from a recent wedding where John, used as a pawn for media coverage, enraged Carolyn for not taking a stand and walking out. Gillen notes that unlike John's previous relationships with women like Sarah Jessica Parker and Daryl Hannah, who, along with Carolyn, certainly fit a type when it came to looks, Carolyn was the only one who would confront and challenge him. This dynamic though seemingly needed by John, hinted at a darker, more volatile sign of Carolyn that was difficult for John to manage. Using my remote viewing ability, I can see that Carolyn was extremely volatile, if not downright violent, behind closed doors. And there were many times when she lashed out at John physically, 
This vision is confirmed by friends of John, who reported that John had complained about being trapped in a violent and abusive marriage. And one friend even reported that Kennedy called him from a hotel room, saying that her drug use had to stop. But apparently, it didn't. Oh, and by the way, you guys know that I do a lot of pet psychic readings, and I can assure you that this poor dog, Friday, adopted by the couple, was terrified of Carolyn, who was actually jealous of the poor thing. On the other hand, the dog absolutely adored John, so it should come as no surprise that family members who had been caring for the animal reported that Friday had been whining and wondering where John was following his death. But why did these two miserable creatures stay together, and why would they be married, especially considering John's obvious attempt to break it off during their public brawl? Well, I think it was partly due to his failing career, which was unfolding in the public eye, and he had placed pressure on himself to create a family, something Carolyn, like many women anxious to snag a husband, could have leveraged with a false pregnancy. But there was also a bit of underlying guilt on his part. As noted, Carolyn was known to be a cokehead, making multiple trips to the bathroom during dinner parties and emerging with rings of white around her nostrils. And a friend of John's even witnessed the couple using drugs together. So imagine what would happen with a relationship that was volatile to begin with. I can see that John could have exploded himself if pushed too far, leaving a sense of guilt behind. Guilt that would have provided another incentive to be married, as strange as that sounds. This relationship was an absolute mess from the beginning, with Carolyn having a volatile temper, which she inherited from her father, by the way, and a dangerous drug habit. John was a mental midget with his own emotional problems, living in the shadow of famous parents and never really doing much with his legacy. Ultimately, the couple separated, and I can assure you that rumors of Carolyn having an affair with her ex-boyfriend, a Calvin Klein model, were true. I would be very surprised, though, if John had an affair during this time. It appears as if he remained faithful, so good on him. They say that the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Imagine being this woman, the one who talked Carolyn and her sister into riding in that plane with John on the day the trio perished. Evidently, she felt her intentions were pure, but it was foolish to say the least. Listen to her recounting the situation. In her book, Fairy Tale Interrupted, Terenzio recalls the conversation she had with Bassett, where she convinced her that she needed to go with him. So what did you say to her? So I said, you have to go. I said, you have to go to the wedding. Come on. I said, come on, don't, don't be silly. This is crazy. It's strange how, with one bad decision, our destinies can change forever. Carolyn's choice to follow this woman's urging and make that flight with her husband, John, ended in disaster. And while many blame the weather and John Jr.'s lack of experience as the primary causes of the plane crash, I beg to differ. No, what I saw was Carolyn throwing an epic temper tantrum, even leaving her seat during the flight threatening to open the door and jump out. Yes, you heard me, but that wasn't all of it. She sat and screamed at the top of her lungs in John's ear, compelling him to lose track of where he was and ultimately lose control of the plane. I remember clearly when I did this reading, my right ear was ringing from her screaming and I thought, shut the fuck up, bitch. Yes, Carolyn Bissett was terrific on paper. She was beautiful and unique, but her temper and drug use were, in my opinion, the straw that broke the camel's back in this relationship. Truly tragic indeed. In summary, two of the most beautiful people in the world who should have had it all actually, in their own way, destroyed themselves and their spouses, not because of public pressure, but because of mental illness and drug addiction. This was a true karmic relationship, where these two individuals came together to learn a lesson and evolve. But to this day, it's safe to assume that their souls are lost somewhere in that deep ocean, arguing and fighting an endless battle. Now that's karma in its truest form. So that's it for now. Don't forget to post your own comments and predictions below, and stay tuned for more shocking insights into the people we love and those who are simply unworthy. 
Thanks for listening.